I absolutely agree, and you know, the legal challenge to uh, Obamacare is not a challenge to health care, it's, it's a question of our freedom and whether or not the Constitution means what it says, whether or not the Tenth Amendment means what it says, and whether or not we as a people uh, draw a line in the sand and say to the federal government, enough is enough. We're not going to let you get further and further and further uh, into our daily life. Well, this is going to be a litigation that will go on for several years. What I would do as Attorney General is devote a team specifically to the issue, not just of BP, but any party responsible uh, for the damages that have been incurred, not just by the state of Florida, but by our small business owners uh, throughout Florida, as well as the communities around Florida that have been impacted by this. I have flown over the oil spill in a Coast Guard plane, seen it all firsthand, and this is going to be a big task for us uh, for the next couple of years and one that would certainly be a priority of mine. Yes, it's the law. Well, of course, you've got the, the challenge uh, to Obamacare. You've got the aftermath of the oil spill. But then you've got to make sure that we do everything we can to put pill mills and pain clinics uh, out of business that are they're right now leading to seven deaths a day in the state of Florida. We've got to continue to fight gangs, uh, which have become the organized crime of our time. Uh, continue with cybercrime and fighting cybercrime, not just online predators, but scam artists that are robbing our senior citizens of their life savings and identity theft. Medicaid fraud also has to be a huge issue as we are losing somewhere between one to three billion dollars a year in Medicaid fraud. Primarily, uh, the job is to work with law enforcement and make sure that we keep the people of Florida safe.